Hey guys, uh, this is a rant. Seriously, this is going to be a rant. So be prepared. And it's about this, the City Skylines Match Day DLC. Now, this is a free DLC. And you can't complain about free stuff, right? Can you? Seriously, you, can't, you, you cannot complain about free stuff. Which is why this has got a very positive rating. And all of the people down below are saying, oh, you know, it's awesome that they're giving us free stuff. And it is. And I don't argue there's nothing that you can complain about free stuff. Except for one thing, right? When they're doing stuff that they shouldn't be doing because they should be doing something else. Okay, now let's take a look at this. And I'll tell you, like, when I first looked at this, my immediate reaction was, what the fuck? Because <laughs> let's take a look at what's in this DLC. Um, what's in? What's in the free match day DLC? A stadium. Yes, that's right. A stadium. One stadium. This. One asset. That's it. Right? What's on top of that? Well, you get the match day me mechanics. Prepare for increased traffic coming to and from your arena on match day and reap the rewards from ticket revenue. Okay, we will come back to those two issues in a second, right? And you can customize your team colors. Wow, yippee fucking do. Are you serious? New hat for Chirper. Really? Okay, now new stadium-related policies. That one, that one I'll actually give them, right? New Anything to do with new policies added into the game, that's good. And I will say that is a good thing. The rest of it, uh, match day mechanics. Let's come back to this. Okay, why does this annoy me so much? And this is the root of it, right? Is the traffic thing. And I go back to uh, when, uh, before City Skylines was launched... And they were talking about why they'd done the traffic certain way. They were being asked questions about, well, you know, can you can you assign individual lanes and can you control the traffic at that level? And their response to that was, we are not trying to do a detailed traffic simulation, right? We, we've done Cities in Motion and that was all, you know, focused on the traffic and the transport and being very, very detailed with that. This is about the city as a whole, and we're not going to get into those kind of details with the traffic. So what have they done with every single DLC that they've launched, right? After Dark, what did they do? They tinkered around with the traffic. Oh, you get more traffic in these areas at night time, blah, blah, blah. Right, Snowfall, what did they do? They tinkered around with the traffic. Oh, when well, you got to do this to the traffic and you get snow and it slows your traffic down. And, and what's in this? right more messing around with the traffic right like let's like anybody who plays city skylines knows that the traffic the traffic simulation is not good that is not why we play city skylines it is not for the traffic right now bear in mind i love city skylines i think it's an awesome game i should have said this maybe right at the start do not get me wrong i love city skylines i love playing city skylines i think you can create wonderful things it is a tremendous sandbox game but it, when it comes to the traffic simulation the traffic simulation is not what this game is about and they've said they have stated that that's not the way they want to go and yet they keep tinkering around with it Right, And as far as rip the rewards from the ticket revenue, the whole economy of the game, for me, again, in terms of a game, I don't think City Skylines is, is a particularly good game. It's way easy to make tons of cash, like right at the beginning of the game, and it's never a challenge in terms of managing your economy. So, so why has this got my back up so much? Because... They're wasting their time doing this, right? There are plenty of stadium assets out there. Do we like? Do we really need another one? And it's a generic one at that, right? I mean, it's not like it's the Stade de France or it's Wembley Stadium or something. It's just some generic stadium that kind of looks like lots, but not anything in particular. What should they be doing? What should they be spending their time on? Um, producing assets, as far as I'm concerned, isn't it. What they should be spending their time on is the core mechanics 
right? Which is why, you know, adding policies, yeah, add more policies in. Love that. But what I'd really like to see them do is, is do things like fixing problems in the game and making the game better. And I'm going to cite some specific examples. And again, why am I so annoyed about this? Because I am sitting here for like 10 to 15 minutes just to load my game, right? And I'm loading mine from an SSD, right, on a fairly fast system. So I feel sorry for people who are, you know, loading from hard drives. They must be waiting freaking half an hour if they're using a lot of assets. Or the alternative is they can't use a lot of assets. So why haven't the developers, Klaus Lauder, done something about loading assets into the game and, and sped that up? Come on, do some optimization on that. That would be of real benefit. Give me that as a free DLC and I'll be really, really happy. What else? You know what? I'm going to go to the, uh, to the mods because this is what I think they should be doing. They should be going to the, the, the most popular mods of all time. Actually, just before, we, just before we talk about those, the UI. Now... <laughs> The developers are very proud of the fact that there are, you know, like, I don't know, what, like certainly tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of assets for the game now. Well, how about showing us how fucking proud you are by giving us a UI that allows us to see more than six assets at a time without having to go and get a mod to do it? I mean, again, you know, come on, work on the UI. <laughs> The UI we accepted, it, it's very, very simplistic, but it was like, nah, it's fine, because this, all the rest of the game is, is, is so damn good. But come on, it's a year, it's, it's more than a year later. It's about time they did some work on the UI and improved it, especially when there are mods out there showing them how to do it. So here I've got, I've got the top rated mods of all time, right? Just, just sorted by top rated. So precision engineering. Now the stuff that's in here is pretty simple, right? You know, just the, the ability to see like how long roads are and you know the, the angles that you're putting roads in. Why haven't they built that in by now? I mean, geez, the basic code is there. I mean, you could always just rip that off and build it in. Why aren't they working on this kind of stuff? Um, automatic bulldoze. Like how hard would it be to build that into the game? It's only got to be an option. Do you want automatic bulldoze or not? Apparently, lots and lots and lots of people want it because these are the, the most popular mods of all time, right? The network extensions. Why haven't we had any more road types? Seriously. You know, they're spending time building, you know, football stadiums. Why not add in all of these road types or at least some of them, right? Um... Extended public transport, there's another good one. Why aren't they doing some of those things, right? Uh, they've done the, the, the all 25 areas per purchasable, thank God. Um, even even really simple things like the, uh, the random tree rotation. My God, how long would it take them to build that in? First person camera. Now, when I mentioned, I had a rant about first person camera before, and somebody said, "Oh, well, the reason they did that, the reason they didn't include that is because um, the game isn't really supposed to be viewed from that that level, and it, the the detail and whatever isn't isn't that great, and so they don't want that." This, look, people are already doing it, right? It's and it could be optional. They don't have to force people to look at it. But the point is. Thousands and thousands of people are already doing it. So why not build it into the game so that the next time they make changes, the damn things don't all break. And so we've got to reload all our damn uh, mods again. Now, th this is what annoys me. I'm spending so much time like searching for mods and then changing them when they break and stuff. They should be incorporating the most popular mods into the base game. And especially for the people who don't, you know, who don't want to use mods or don't have the time to go searching for mods. They should be improving the game by building these features in. I mean, extra land cut, but this is the problem. This is kind of the counter argument that I've, I've had put against this. When you look at how they implemented the landscaping tools that they added to the game, it wasn't terrific. And yeah, I mean, yes, you, the thing is, you can always go to the mods, right? 
you can always use the mods. If, there's, if there are better mods out there, you can always use them. But I want to see the developers building simple functions like first-person camera into the basic game. Um, there's other stuff, like, really, like unlimited trees, right? Why isn't that an option in the game, right? It's really simple to do, and it's up to the person. Like, if you've got a computer that can, can handle it, why shouldn't you be able to just check a box, unlimited trees? And this is, uh, sharp, um, this one, sharp junction angles. Why the hell isn't that in the game? Again, you can have it as an option, right? But it should be there. I mean, these the, the junctions that are in at the moment are horrible. And then you see that you can do these, and it's like, hang on, well, why can't you, why can't you just do that in the basic game? So there you go. The, this is why I was so freaking annoyed when I saw that match day um, DLC. Seriously, why are they screwing around with something like that? I know it's a little freebie and it kind of links in with the Euros and it is a nice thought. I just think that there are more important things that they could be doing with their time than screwing around with being able to change the colours on the team in one stadium. Okay? Now, I'm sure that this will create all kinds of controversy and some of you will agree with me and some of you won't. So I will sit back and I will wait for your comments. Uh, it should be an interesting debate. Uh, I do apologise about the, uh, the... Well, I kind of don't apologise about the language, to be honest, because it really did piss me off. So, uh, so there you go. Uh, guys, I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.